first quarter. It looks like they have to go to different forces, aren't they? The conventional things aren't working too well. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. This is Henry. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. They'll try the air now with Newton. Dancing to his left. The ball comes out, and this is going to kick out of bounds. Boy, a fortunate bounce or two there. They'll keep possession back inside the 10-yard line. I don't know about you, but I could hear and feel the sigh of relief all the way up here in our booth. That yeah, was palpable. The sideline, the friend there. No doubt about it. Ball goes over the sideline, able to retain possession, no turnover. <laughs> I know his coaches are screaming. Just hang on to the ball, man. They'll try to run for it with Henry. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. Derrick Henry, his second touchdown of the game, 17th on the Browns, add six to their lead. It's good, and they stretch their lead to 28 0 now. Zerline out now to kick this one away. Coming up later tonight, a reminder, one of the games we circled coming into the season, the Patriots at the Broncos. These two certainly have played some memorable games in recent years. They sure have. And tomorrow night, we wrap up Week 10 with the Dolphins heading up to visit the Panthers. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. On the right side, this is Miller. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. Nice idea, nice concept there. Line him up on the left side of the formation. Let him sneak his way across. Coming back underneath. Put it in his hands. Let him get a few more yards after the catch, too. Great way to utilize a tight end on the drag route. hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move. on the ground or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. for the backup, Davis Webb. And the Browns pressure gets to him that time, and he's going to go down. Clay Matthews, he's the one to get him, and that's sack number seven for him on the year. Here's Brett Kern now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. And the Browns getting set to go. They are just putting things together so well here, drive after drive. They really have captured the momentum, haven't they? They've taken momentum and pretty much not just giving them a jersey, <laughs> but a seat on the bench as well. Whatever do you need, you've got it because 
the way they're stringing things together and creating that distance between them and their opponent, it's really hard to narrow that gap. And the other part is they're taking their spirit away from them, too. Yeah, now they're just looking to add to that total. So a decent game, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. on the play back at his own 19 yard line it's a loss of a yard there and now second down this was boxing you think maybe they would have thought about stopping this one because this defense has been bruised it's been battered but this is why they keep the fight going right they just got done with a really nice play showing they still got a little bit left don't they haven't had many plays that they can clip put in the film room and smile about but hey there's one clip and save Now a handoff to Henry. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. six-yard loss, and that'll lead to a fourth down. The Browns send out their punter now as he's on to kick it away. Take it in at the 22. And Detroit getting set to go now. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He's not a team anymore. I just cut him, all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field in this drive. Poor punter. Yeah, he didn't, it wasn't his fault. But so, hey, listen, there's some guy, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. Across the 30 to the 31-yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. And here comes throw number one for the backup QB. And hauled in by the tight end Miller. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he'll go out of bounds, finally. Seven. A big play there on the catch and run. 63 yards. this one in for a Lions touchdown. Thomas Rawls, his 11th touchdown of the year. 